lovely people, Kitija here. And last week, I reviewed The Amazing Book is Not on Fire. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put links around in the description below. But it's a really good book. Plus, I recommend you buy it if you love your Dan and Phil. So, around yesterday on Twitter, there has been speculation and an announcement about the audiobook version of Tabinoff. And to me, I'm not interested on buying the audiobook as I just think it's just the book plus someone else reading it for me, so I just think it's not worth of my money. But after the previews, the confirmation, the rumors, the speculation and all that, I was convinced. So I went to iTunes and I made my purchase and today I will give you the review of the amazing book is not fire audiobook edition. So I know I already finished listening to the audiobook, I'm just listening it again because it's really good. First of all, I want to explain to you guys why I didn't want to buy the audiobook in the first place. Back then, I'm not a huge fan of audiobooks. It's just basically some other guy reading the book you bought. And to be honest, most audiobook ads are really lame. It's basically, go buy this book and along with it, go get the audiobook in iTunes or Audible or something. But apparently Twitter won't shut up about the audiobook that I decided to go get for myself. But Dan Phil released a trailer a day after I got the audiobook. And it was really good. Like, if they have released that trailer, like, two weeks before the actual release date, I would immediately pre-order the book. I swear to God. Why am I saying book? It's an audiobook, goddammit. But yeah, the trailer was really good. It feels like you're there. You can actually feel them whispering to your ear and the immersion and all of that and I'm like, oh my god, they should have released this trailer before. So basically after all of Twitter and Tumblr talking about it yesterday, I got myself the audiobook. Tip of advice before you listen and during listening to the audiobook. Number one, if you're gonna be reading the actual book while listening to it, I recommend you don't as it's gonna be really confusing as there's gonna be a lot of things change. Like they're gonna be removing certain bits plus they're gonna be adding certain bits to the audiobook that's gonna be really hard to catch on on what part of the book you're in. To be honest, I recommend you do read it while listening, but it's gonna be really confusing, so I recommend you do, and I recommend you don't. Number two, prepare to have four hours and 25 minutes of your life fully dedicated and devoted to Dan and Phil's voice, as it's really addictive. That's why I'm reading it and listening to it all over again. And number three, do not listen to it while you're in public. It doesn't matter if it's your first or your fourth time listening to it, you're gonna have a hard time holding all that laughter in as you don't want to look like a fool while you're in public. When I got the audiobook, I just wanna say I got it like an hour earlier than everyone else. And the reason why is because I bought mine in iTunes. Meanwhile, everyone was trying to get it in audible.com which weirdly enough, they all had to wait for 8 a.m. just to receive it. I swear to God, I've been posting stuff about the audiobook while everyone is posting stuff like, Why can't we get it? How long is it taking? What's with the downloads? So while everyone was literally trying to still get the book, I was having a blast reading and reacting to it that I've been posting all over Twitter and Tumblr, and this has to be one of my favorite things I've posted. So sorry to everyone I kinda pissed off online when I got the audiobook like an hour early. No hard feelings. So what did I think about the audiobook? I'm just gonna say this. It's super amazing. I swear to God, it's basically the radio show plus Dan and Phil videos mashed up to make one giant baby. I'm telling you now, the background music used plus their voices trying to recreate every moment and every page of that audiobook will astound you as it feels like they just uploaded the video based on that page and it's gonna feel like they're there next to you reading the actual book with you plus the commentary and the bands make it feel like you're listening to the radio show I'm gonna be telling you this now you're gonna be expecting a lot of domestic fan or a bit of Dan and Phil as parents when Phil starts to read the Simon pages Dan will be reacting to every moment saying oh I should have paid the pet bills or something I'm not gonna do that there's gonna be a lot of things that it feels like Dan and Phil are raising a kid. It's basically life before Dale. And the 4 hours and 25 minutes of your life just listening to Dan and Phil will be totally worth it as it feels like they are there reading it to you. It feels like the book is coming to life so it's like super amazing plus the immersion feels so surreal that you wouldn't stop listening to it. No, you're gonna be keep on reading that 
thing all over again. When you finish the damn audiobook, you're gonna be listening to it again while you're in public and you're gonna try to hold yourself from laughing. One of my favorite pages in the audiobook, I say audiobook because the book will be different from the audiobook version, is the fanga. I swear to god, Dan and Phil saying, Dan Kun, Phil San, Serial Senpai. It feels like they're in an anime! And I would totally watch that anime! Even though I found reading it a bit cringy, I didn't care. It feels like I'm actually watching an anime, even though I'm not watching anything. I'm just listening to it through my phone. Plus, Dan and Phil reading the fan fictions is the other reason why I got the audiobook. As them reading it feels like something that you would never ever expect much. Plus, Dan reading The Urge is super amazing. I swear to God, it feels like he's actually sending you to that actual setting of the fan fiction he wrote. If I could say one thing that I hate about the audiobook, it has to be, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the Becky and Jessica page. I'm not saying I hate Dan's recreation of Becky and Jessica. I swear to God, I full on loved how Dan recreated Jessica in the book. It's just he didn't do Becky the way I was hoping Becky to be. It was basically Dan's voice only, while Jessica was the bitchy, popular girl who somehow abuses Becky for some reason, while Becky is basically Dan reading the page. I was hoping for more there, Dan. Come on. So overall, the audiobook is really good. I swear to God, it's worth my $24. And I will give it 8.5 out of 10. It's that good. And listening to it all over again will just, it will not stop. The feels will keep on going. Plus the way they read their pages and recreate every moment in that book will make you cry. I don't care if I'm super old and there's like iPhone 1 million that has been invented by Apple. I don't care. You're gonna be remembering all those moments. Even if you left, you're gonna be remembering all those Dan and Phil moments that you missed, that you have been, and it'll just bring back the feels that you're gonna be happy that you have met Dan and Phil. So I hope you like this video. My name is Kitty Jaya. Kitty Jaya out. Please tell me what you think of the audiobook as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.